How we doing, guys? Rich and I are getting all ready for the big rockfish kickoff and pen sales event Absolutely. tomorrow and Sunday for you guys. We're going to take a little bit of break from rigging and talk about what's going on in the water as far as fishing goes. So yeah. there's a, there's a it's that time of year when things are starting to heat back up again, uh, and there's still some leftover stuff from our, our spawning winter fisheries kind of deal. So starting out with up in the creeks, Tuckahoe, uh, Greensboro area, as well as Fletcher's, the shad fishing has started. So there's yeah. there's a lot of fun you could be had there with the ultralight combos and what kind of lures and stuff are we going to be targeting those? With shad darts. Shad, I mean, shad darts are one of my favorites to use, yeah. small Absolutely. shad spoons. Mm -hmm. I like doing a tandem. You can either do two shad darts or a shad dart and a spoon. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're always my favorites. Yeah, I had luck this week with um, just a small quarter ounce shad dart because we were fishing in some high current, and then right above it, uh, right behind it, just one of those small nunguster spoons did really yep. well for us. So, all sorts of rigs like that keep it small. I know a lot of people like the bust and bait stingers on some small jig heads yeah. that can be effective for you. So, so there's a lot of stuff to do there. Um, just kind of let it sink a little bit in the current and start twitching it with a small retreat back to you. Really, really easy fishing. But when you're over top of them, I mean, it's fish after fish. Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. A lot of fun, too. Poor um, man's tarpon. Yeah, absolutely. So, Madam Woman as well. Uh, Madam Woman on the Potomac. I know a lot of folks have been finding them over there. Some of the places on the Patuxent, too, have had some. So, so there's a lot of areas you can find them. In those same areas, though, there are some leftover white perch from their spawn that are still in there. Um, and then moving back out towards the main rivers, we're finally starting to see people catch some white perch out on, you know, your typical spots on the Mac, these different yeah. areas like that. Yeah. Not any big quantities, but they are starting to fizzle back out to the main part of the rivers. Yeah, definitely. So taking a look at catfish, though, I mean, catfishing is, is a great fishery this time of year for people, and you can really do it just about anywhere you want. Uh, I know they've done really, really well north of the bridge if you're out on the main part of the bay, but also shore locations like Sandy Point and uh, Mattapeak have been really productive as well. Yeah, absolutely. Make sure you load up on your circle hooks, nice big circle hook, sinker slides, you know, basic simple rig, and chunks of bunker, you're good to go. Chunks of bunker. I know a lot of people have been using some of the shrimp that we have as yep. well for them. So, yep. so there's all sorts of baits you can use for them, and, and it's a time of the year where you can really load up and catch a bunch of good eating fish too. Yeah, definitely. So other than that, that's most of what we have going on this time of the year. Can yeah, I mean, else? snakehead fishing still snakehead doing well. Um, you know, guys are definitely still out there catching them. Uh, your typical stuff, your chatter baits and, and whatnot that you would mm -hmm. use this time of the year. Still a little early for frogs. Probably start throwing a few here and there. I've been hearing yeah. Lower Eastern Shore. I heard the guys were talking about some frogs being out. So it depends yeah. on where you're fishing. But um, you know, a lot of subsurface stuff. A lot of subsurface stuff. Still yeah. keeping the retrieves pretty slow. Um, absolutely. But yeah, despite that the striper season's closed, there's lots of stuff to be done out there. Absolutely. Right? The, like you said, the catfish. Guys are going nuts over these blue cats. Yeah. So get out there and have some fun. There's definitely a lot of them out there. So we look forward to seeing you guys this weekend. Any uh, questions you have about that, you can always find that on our website. Thank you, guys. Good luck, have fun.